Let's look at what it takes to fabricate Spire Acoustic Plus for an elbow. Prior to beginning the installation, ensure that you are wearing all the necessary personal protective equipment, PPE. This includes gloves and safety glasses. You may also use a dust mask if desired, but it is not necessary. For each of the following installation methods, you will need a ductboard knife, a measuring tape, a straight edge, a squeegee, UL181A approved tape, and something to mark the material, like a white pencil or a piece of chalk. Be careful when using a ductboard knife, as the sharp edge can easily cause injuries. Since Spire Acoustic Plus is designed to maintain self-applied pressure, most applications don't require mechanical fasteners. However, for applications where the diameter of the spiral pipe is greater than 60 inches across, mechanical fasteners should be used to ensure the insulation remains in place. You will need locking pliers and draw bands shaped as gore patterns in addition to the standard insulation materials previously mentioned. First, calculate the circumference of the pipe by multiplying pi times the diameter. Then measure and cut the length of the Spire Acoustic Plus to three quarters of an inch less than the circumference. From there, roll and tape the insulation as you would for a straight section of duct. Once that's complete, clamp the end gore band around the end of the insulation. Ensure that the clamp of the gore band is not aligned with the seam of the Spire Acoustic Plus material. Then mark the seam where you clamp the band. You will use this mark to ensure that the Spire Acoustic Plus is exactly where it needs to be within the elbow. Using the edge of the band as a guide, cut all the way around the Spire Acoustic Plus following the contour of the draw band. If the cut is square to the draw band, then there will be gaps between the gore pieces. When your cut is complete, remove the band. Repeat this process with the subsequent sections of the gore band. Once you are done, you will have several sections of Spire Acoustic Plus that fit together in the shape of an elbow. Now take the piece that will fit in the middle of the duct and buckle it into a heart shape. Slide the Spire Acoustic Plus into the middle of the duct, ensuring that the seam where you clamp the gore band is in line with the seam of the duct. Release the insulation and allow it to expand into place. When this piece is snugly in place, you can work your way outward to the next two pieces. And finally, to the end pieces, using the same insertion method for each piece. If there are any gaps in between the insulation sections, fill them with John's Manville's Super Seal Sealant.